quick, let's go for three. Yeah, give me two. Nice and one. That's it. Woo! That's yeah. it. That's what you do. It's a lot of That's what you do. quite so many years when I was starting my fitness journey he was actually one of my trainers he helped me get my body girls you know so we are here to try to, uh, to train with him today and in this amazing facility that I'll show you it's so gorgeous I mean the view that you have when working out the equipment in this place and you see this board over here people write their goals over here so that you don't feel like sidetracked you don't go amazing right so we gotta train with Gerald today and uh, see what he does. Yay! motivation behind the board that thing impresses me so much behind the board yeah the board basically is it's everything it's everything we do uh -huh. it's, it's more of when you come you want to achieve your goal we take you through by fast you put in your goal down you okay you see it every day kind of is the thing let's go let's okay go. so you've been able to see it every day it's like you have a destination somewhere that keeps reminding me oh, I don't need to start. That's that is the motivation behind the whole body. Okay. It's a, board. <laughs> it's a good job. It's a good job. And even the use of colours, different colours just makes it a bit artistic. So I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. But I was I also want to know where your motivation as a trainer came from. My motivation as a trainer. Wow. It kind of it uh, it started way back. It started way back, way back. When I started training myself as Gerald, uh, ideally I didn't look to become a trainer and a coach. But after around one and a half a year of doing it, there's something that really changed everything. That was uh, myself. I changed drastically, drastically. Now, when I used to see everybody come to the gym, now I started getting that that enthusiasm to be able to help people out. Just You're glowing different by the way. You guys I had mentioned this guy was one of my first trainers when I was starting my fitness <laughs> journeys. And man <laughs> ah, to me talk on Bali. <laughs> but Thanks so much. his main workouts, please tell us your main workouts. What do you like working on? Do you love body weights? I'm a junkie. Body weight junkie. Like I love body weights all day. Only. I in a week I love weight training too but in a week I would mind doing body weight Monday to Friday Monday to Friday yeah. what are the benefits of body weight training the benefits of body weight one that I can attest on myself and on my clients is it has helped it helps you move better because even in your own weight you feel lighter it's like like an example myself I am 78 kg currently. I just added around 3 kg from 75. But I don't feel the addition of the 3 kg. Why? Because 
my body is able to move. And that I translate to my clients. Because mm -hmm. a client comes, says something like, sees the panda stairs. And sees the panda stairs. And the panda stairs in a hammer. And the two months in the house, and in a hammer. And the panda has his own hand in a hammer. So what I ask them to do is try and concentrate in moving well with their own body fast. Once they're moving well, then they start feeling light in their own way. And what is your diet like? Mm, when it comes to diet, I'll mention one, I don't do fat, I don't recommend fat. Meaning Kenya, a typical Kenya. So, first on me, what I do is I take myself through nutrition coaching. Like, I just get to understand what to do. Yeah, because no food is bad, but I simply get to understand, to know, like, this is what you should eat, this is what you should eat, and this is what you should eat. Yes. Basically, I love food, so I coach myself on how to eat well. To eat well. I don't overindulge in a type of food. At the same time, I don't underfeed for my goal. <laughs> Yeah, I feel properly and it has me keep it alive. So that's the beauty. Like So let's see what you do then. Let's get on the ground. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> this is what it's gonna do. Right? So it's you're starting classic. off with a demonstration. I hope you guys can see this. Starting off with a demonstration and then I'll join you after the demo. Okay. Good. Good. Get your bikini body from this. Yeah. Okay, that was amazing. Jesus, I don't think I want to see myself do that again. Huh? So you murdered me on that other side. What does the studio entail over here? The studio, it entails this and this. Mm -hmm. yes. What's this? It's a total body workout mm -hmm. that entails TRX mm -hmm. and box. Okay. Yeah. Our aim in the studio is to kick your ass and make it burn a thousand calories. That's all. That's all. And I'm a body weight junkie. So if you come in, you're going to use your own body on the TRX. You're going to keep the back like crazy. But you're going to come out feeling good. Yeah. Okay. So for instance, there's this 111 day challenge that I've been trying to do. And I'm also trying to recruit people to join me. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's advisable to have such a challenge? It is. Mm -hmm. It is super advisable because Challenges are more of like barriers. They help you move to your goal. It's like you want to get somewhere, but you're not going to get there without having these things that they are like obstacles you have to go through. So for the challenge, I'm always for it. Okay. Every day, all the time. And what would you recommend to have in the challenge? What, what kind of workouts would you say would help someone build a better lifestyle? 
fast, have fun, have fun. Because workout, workout is not for, it's not for anybody. It's not for a particular goal, but it's just for your general health. So first, just have fun. Then the workouts, keep mixing them up. Keep mixing them up, because if you mix them up, it allows you to do it for a longer period of time without getting bored. So you can mix outdoor activities, gym, you can mix skills inside it, yeah? Like you can learn kickboxing, still works you out. You can learn how to weight train yourself, but still works you out. You can learn how to play a sport, probably football, but it still works you out. So the best way to enjoy the challenge is mix everything up, make it spicy. No food tastes nice with one spice. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good advice. <laughs> just, okay then, generally, just tell us what you tell us. Advice from the coach himself about fitness and a better lifestyle. Wow, wow. Better lifestyle, change your mindset. Better lifestyle, just change your mindset. Change the way you view the workout. Change the way you view the food. Change the way you view everything around a workout and change the way you build activities around a workout. That will help you get a better lifestyle because you'll do it now for a very long time. Yeah. Then my last advice is for both us as coaches and we as clients, because sometimes I'm a client too, is as a client, the best thing you can do for yourself is always keep your coach on track. By that what do I mean? Always stay with the coach. Keep telling the coach what you feel. Keep telling the coach, like look, hold, this is not working. This is not working. I want to do something else. What can I do? Yeah. We don't assume the coach is an angel, but a guy for the coaches. We don't train for money. Let's have fun. Let's change these people's lives. They need it, but we are the lead. Yeah. Leaders have fun. Leaders don't do it for money. Let's do it. Let's have fun. Yeah. It's Kanai or Kanai. <laughs> it's Tuesday, but a Friday vibe. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So, you guys, let me come back in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Coco. Thank You're you, Coco. Welcome. It's always fun. Always fun. Always fun. <laughs> he made me sweat like a bathana with just yeah. two sets. I'm done. <laughs> So guys, I just finished my session, my yeah, my time with Gerald, and I want you guys to meet uh, another coach over here who's gonna tell you more about current gym, when to come, one of the best days, what they do every day, such kind of things, you know. Let him educate us. Hey, hey. Hi, hi. I'm good. How are you? So today I've decided to come and ambush you in your office just to get to know Karen Jim a bit better. <laughs> yeah? Alright. Okay. So first just begin by telling me your name. Alright, my name is Ben. Uh, I work here. Mm -hmm. I am uh, an accountant by profession. But uh, I'm also an assistant manager standing mm -hmm. in for my colleague who just leave. Mm. Welcome to Karaji. Thank you, thank you. Where is it located exactly? Uh, we are at uh, Karen Shopping Centre, just uh, the building called uh, Karen Square Building, just on top of the banks, uh, that is uh, KCB and Bank. Okay. Uh, so what would you say is the best thing about your gym? Oh, good. The best thing about our gym is we focus on results. This is a transformation centre. I know they, when you join Karen, we only take people who have a goal in mind and those who want to achieve something. So at the end of the day, we focus on three things. And the most important one is coaching on how you eat, that's nutrition coaching. And then we have uh, very professional coaches. I'm sure you're talking with one of them. Yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah, then we have, of course, the nutritionist in place. Yeah, and at the end of the day also, every month we do, we do uh, which is something called tracking. Mm -hmm. That is, yeah, you get your goal, come in as Coco, 
for example, you get your, uh, you tell us you want to flatten flat your tummy. I'm sure you have had a session with our, one of our coaches. And trust me, yeah, that's what we do. Transformation. So you, um, I was talking to Gerald earlier, and he was speaking about uh, it doesn't. Uh, you guys don't do just one session. You work with people with a long-term goal. So of true. Most of our clients are long-term people. Uh huh. So do you help them define their goals? Of course. Uh -huh. So end of the day, first of all, we hear from the point of view of the client. Mm. And end of the day, we get to know exactly what is possible has been missing from the, from other genes. There's a point. So after getting to know what the client wants and getting to know the obstacles, we are able to come up with a problem that works for the specific client. Okay, so uh, during this pandemic season, what's the greatest thing your gym has done? Okay, during this pandemic season, the greatest thing that uh, our gym has been able to do just to keep First of all, is to keep ourselves afloat, and second, is to help our clients achieve their goal despite despite the pandemic. So, what happens last year when uh, we closed down indefinitely uh, from the I think it was the first quarter of the president uh, this last year, we were able to come up with a program that works better for our clients despite being at home. So we were able to go online, just train live people from their home. From the comfort and trust for you, we change a lot of lives. That's the one. Uh, the second thing is, I believe we have been able to 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 guide our clients on specific kind of meals they should take. So I know they, we don't just have to eat and sit at home. You have to eat healthy and stay active. So let me let me get this straight. You guys have been training people even from home. Yeah. You don't people don't have to come to the gym to be trained. Come, come. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah. And your nutritionist is always in the house. Of course. Ah, okay. What am I expecting to get when I come to the gym? Showers, water. Tell me what I'm expecting to get when I come here. Good. This is a fully fledged personal training institution where we have uh, the showers as you say. We have uh, the steam. We have the sauna in place, but also we have a salon just uh, uh, besides us. So for those guys who would like to just come and hang out a day, apart from training. So at the end of the day, you don't come to hang out in the gym. Maybe after that, the training, you go hang out those other things. Mm. So there is everything, because we have working class people who come as early as 5 a.m. They train, they get a shower, they go to work. Free parking down in the basement. Very well secured. So this is a private place. Yeah. So most, most of my clients uh, prefer privacy and uh, same time security. So this is the place to be if you have a good in mind and uh, if you're looking for a good place to, to join. Hey, it sounds like a nice place to just come and do a self-care day. Because imagine if I come here, I train, and then I can go maybe to the sauna and do all, I just have like some few hours to myself where I feel good. So yeah, I recommend this gym. I like it already. This is a place to come back. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks. I hope I hope you guys will come here. You've already seen the the the, the, Nene, the director is very serious with you. Eh? Our coach over here. Thank you so much. Yo, this is our sauna area. Ooh. Do you like pay extra for sauna? Of course. Or, uh, Just one here session. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can have a, a good place. Uh, of course, eucalyptus. Very it nice. smells so amazing, you guys. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Delicious. Oh, yeah. How many people can be in the sauna at once? Of course, we have uh, most of the time it's one person. Oh. But uh, of course, we have couples who come in. Oh. Men's massage. Yeah, and even a massage area, man. You come here for a whole self care day. Yeah. So nice, so nice. And the room is a bit dark, makes it look like you're not even around here. <laughs> yeah. Ladies yeah. massage. Whoa, them girls. Girls here, the massage. The girls' room looks even prettier. <laughs> Oh my god, just <laughs> look at this. Are these crystals? Yeah, stones. stones. Marble stones. Yeah, ah. there. Ladies or... definitely do a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
and now you know where I need to come for a massage. I just have a whole session workout, go sauna, come here, get a good massage, and I mean, Kwani Kesho, you live life. You live life, man. You treat yourself, you pamper yourself. Oh, it smells delicious in here too. Okay, I'm yeah. loving this. Ladies sauna. I mean, steam room sauna, but the ladies steam. I swear, when I walk into Napendo, me, I'm proud to be a woman. You see how our places are just cute. <laughs> Okay. okay, now can I just ask, do you have more ladies at your gym than men? <laughs> of course. Ah. Of course. Now ladies, women ladies love... are more than men at gym. Yeah, women are loving and fitness. Just, so. I'm just uh, joking, or rather, just work out. Yeah. 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 Seriously. For stamina, cool. Our mm. legs. We will live longer. Of course. <laughs> Yes, Hello, oh my god, it's beautiful. I can even talk at a Kusema late place in a car poor. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, in a car locker room. I have seen in the movies it looks like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's no, no, here. And it's clean, you guys. It's clean. Very, 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 very well protected. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah, this side is nice. Yeah. Mm. And that's basically who we are. Thank you so much, Ben. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me to your gym, for having me here, for answering my questions, for just accommodating this woman. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. <sighs> You guys saw it yourselves. As in at a CSE wa chocha, this thing, this place speaks for itself. It speaks for itself, you guys. Oh my. So I hope you enjoyed my session with Gerald. It was one of the best I've had in a long time. Body weight is just another story for me. But I had a good time doing that. Yeah. On to the next one.